This week on Outdoor Bound TV, we're off to one of the most famous destinations in the Midwest for trophy walleye, Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll take to the ice with former tournament angler and world record holder, Dale Strohshine of Sturgeon Bay. Dale will share with us some of his suggestions when you plan a trip to this famous body of water. Then we'll head deeper to fish for another species that has more recently made Green Bay famous, the whitefish. Look at that fish. Yes! Good job. It is girls weekend. That is awesome. Definitely a treat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master Ice Augers. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional grade Tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle. Rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. There he is. There you go. Hey, got one. Jake, there he bit. Great fish. And the dangler rod holder. Introducing the dangler rod holder. Revolutionizing tip down performance. Available at your local retailer or online at danglericefishing.com. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Northland Auto Center, the Midwest's premier dealer of Yeti Fish Houses, introduces the 2018 line of ultimate all-season trailers, built for summer fun, fall hunting, and winter ice fishing. The Yeti ranges in size from 16 to 21 feet, and you're sure to find the perfect layout to fit your family. With unique designs featuring a kitchen and bathroom, your opinion of a fish house will never be the same. See the pros at Northland Auto Center to create your own legend with Yeti. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we continue our winter ice series, this time in the state of Wisconsin. Dale Strohshine is a former tournament angler. He's a world record holder, and today operates Wacky Walleye Guide Service out of Sand Bay Beach Resorts in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Now, Dale is undoubtedly one of the experts when it comes to finding and catching big walleyes. Let's head out before daylight with Dale and the rest of the gang from Wacky Walleye in search of walleyes on the bay of Green Bay. This morning we're out here on the beautiful Bay of Green Bay chasing Door County walleyes. We call them Door County Gold up here. I mean, there's beautiful fish. This time of year, you know, at the end of February, coming into March, we're getting a few other, uh, few big fish rolling in to these tributaries along the shorelines to spawn. <sighs> Using a lot of, a uh, lot of jigging wraps this time of year as more of a, a search bait just being because these fish, sometimes they're less aggressive and these jigging wraps with the way they swim down there, they'll trigger bites more than they will any other kind of jig this time of year. Oh, oh, there's the leader. Oh. Look at that. 
fish. Look at the belly on it. Fish is probably 26, 27 inches, and I bet you it's all of, I don't know, eight pounds. Might not even be 27. You can see the way you got that jigging rip. You actually T-boned it. You probably threw the top treble hook in there. I mean, that was pretty good. Um, right now, we're probably in about mm, 28 foot of water. A lot of people, when they come up here, they always think they got to fish, you know, anywhere between 22 and 23 foot of water but a lot of times these fish get so pressured they actually slide out to a little deeper water all right we're gonna let this big girl go and let her swim for another day All right, let's get another one. So what I did for that walleye, guys, all I did was got the jig and wrap, you got that bottom treble hook, I got a minnow here, an emerald chiner. Take that minnow, I always hook it a little differently. I like to go through the top of the skull, I think the minnow sits on a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just thread it through. Come right back behind the gill right here pinch that minnow off. Just so if that fish comes in, he's a little negative, this might make him commit to that jig and wrap. Hey everybody, Dale Strohshine with Wacky Walleye Guide Service. You know, when you're coming up here to the Bay of Green Bay and you're gonna go out and chase walleyes, first of all, you gotta understand that this is a spot that you wanna come to to get your fish of a lifetime or a trophy fish. It's not going to be one of these areas where you're going to come and just get fish after fish after fish like Lake of the Woods or Lake Erie. Realistically, you're going to come out here and spend a lot of days sitting on a bucket with no, with no bites. But understand that when you do get bit, it more than likely is going to be a fish of a lifetime. Getting back to kind of the breakdown of this walleye season, you know, January is always going to be a really good time. First ice like that, those fish are chomping, and uh, they're they're still relatively active. And February, for some reason, has always been a mystery to me, but it's probably one of the tougher months here on the Bay of Green Bay. Now, it may be good in your neck of the woods, but I'm just telling you here in Green Bay, it's not going to be to your advantage in February. Now, it's not to say that you can't get some fish at that time, which we do, but it's always going to be a tougher month. Now, March, whole different animal, probably the best month out of the year. What we'll catch January and February, we'll probably double that in the two or three weeks we have of March. So that's how good March can be. And the reason that is, is because what ends up happening is you start now at this time of the year are gonna start getting runoff. You're gonna start getting warmer days, the days are longer, and the water starts running in the tributaries and it's gonna pour into the lake. That's an immediate flag for them. Hey, listen, start migrating to certain areas. And uh, so it kinda takes, to put it in perspective, kinda takes that needle in the haystack and puts the needle in the thimble. 
still searching for some of those walleyes. I'm fishing against about a 30 foot shelf here. Just running the new M5 from by Markham and it's uh it's definitely helps pick up fish that's when we have separation on a roly poly bottom like this with zebra mussels all over the place. You know, with the super fine line technology, it just lets a guy really find out what's actually down there instead of actually having so many dead zones on a spot like this. Here's the fish coming up, coming up, coming up. Hook up. Hook up. Hook up. And the suffix braid. This is my first time I've actually used the suffix ice braid. And I tell you, I am a total <laughs> oh, nice walleye. I am sold on this stuff. Especially when you're running chicken wraps for a big walleye like that. <laughs> Not as big as other guys have been catching out here. But uh, I tell you, they work. They work open water, they work through the ice, and he's so hooked I can barely get him out. There we go. What a nice fish. Nice fish. Plump for, for a smaller fish, probably a 23 inch walleye. But he has got, he is mean, he's flared out, just like they make in the Packers. Well, like they say, the fun is in the catching, not the keeping. So we're going to release this awesome little walleye. There he goes. Awesome. Well, I'll show you what I've done here. So what I've done is I put on a little blade. This is actually a nice fishing blade. And I put it on a cross snap with my jigging wrap. So what I've noticed using the Markham is that a lot of fish are really liking rattle and vibration here. And I picked up a lot of fish on a drop, especially with white fish. So what that's done, doing for me is when I just give it little shakes, that's actually pulsating up and down. And uh, it just gives a little extra rattle slamming against the side of that hard body of that jigging wrap. And it puts fish on the board. Sometimes you gotta do little hacks like that. If you're not catching and you don't have confidence in what you're doing, it never hurts to try something out of the box and you just might hook up into something just like that. Well, the sun's starting to get a little bit higher here, uh, so I think we're probably going to pack it up. Um, so that's kind of the, the great part about being here on Green Bay. You can come out in the morning, fish for a couple hours, and then uh, head out to deep water and get back into the white fish. So, I mean, there's always, there's always action here, so I think we're going to pack her up and Go we'll get some white fish. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and Beaver Dam Ice Fishing. Otter. The leader in quality and innovation is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. We handle your races, your jumps, and your trails. Isn't it time you give your daily driver the same love? Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil delivers 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by leading industry standards. And now, ordering Amsoil is even easier. Simply log on to qcamsoil.myamsoil.com and have quality Amsoil products delivered right to your door. Duncan Creek Wood Creations is putting quality, handcrafted products from the north woods of Wisconsin right at your fingertips. Offering a full line of custom wood furniture, bedroom sets, dining room tables, and cabinets. Available today, simply go to our website to select any of our in-stock, handcrafted, custom-made bars, bar stools, cribbage boards, and end tables. Shipped directly to your door in just days. Duncan Creek Wood Creations.
Have a flat, transmission not right, or your auto just won't run? Who can you call? Auto Pro Service Center in Arcadia, your full automotive service center. Our experienced technicians will listen to your needs to get your car back up and running while you wait in our clean, comfortable waiting area. If you need an oil change or a complete engine replacement, trust Auto Pro to keep you moving. Everything for your auto, brakes, tires, engines, oil changes. We'll see you at Auto Pro Service Center in Arcadia. Hey everyone, welcome back. Now before we left you for the break, we were fishing for walleyes on the Bay of Green Bay with my friend Dale Strohshine from Wacky Walleye Guide Service. We took a bit of a break for lunch, we hopped in the Yeti to warm up, and now we're headed a little further out in search of another fish that has made Green Bay famous. That's the whitefish. The guys are drilling holes and dropping cameras down, so let's get back at it right now. Breezy out here today, but doing some white fishing out on Green Bay. And hey, I got one. Got a fish on. Boy, this is the second time I've been here in the last couple years, and these fish, these are fun to catch. It's coming up. Put a little bit of fight on. He's come up. I see him coming up. There we go. Nice white fish. We're out here just off of Sand Bay Beach Resort, out of Green Bay, just a little ways off from Sturgeon Bay. And we got a nice first one of the day. Not too bad. Hopefully we can get him unhooked and get another one going. There you go. So I caught this one on a jigging ramp. Um, I'm down about, probably about 19, 20 feet right now. It was just off the bottom. Uh, just kept jigging off the bottom a little bit. And uh, all of a sudden it felt dead and I had them on. So we'll put this one back and see if we can get another one. It's been kind of slower this, today here. Um, we've had to get right down into the bottom and just jig it amongst the rocks and stuff, pound the bottom a little bit. Um, cur oh, the. Uh, the current has really come up, so we're not even using the electronics right now because you can't find them on the, you can't find your jig on your electronics. And uh, look at that, Green Bay Whitefish. About the, I think this is the second time I've been out here and it just keeps getting better all the time. This uh, clear, clear water makes it really interesting, but these uh, jigging wraps have been doing the trick for us. Um, just bounce them off the bottom and uh, stirring up some dirt, getting above them, and then they just come right in and nail it. And uh, this guy here, he hit pretty hard, so perfect. We're out here on Green Bay, and uh, we're fishing with the uh, Markham LX9, and uh, we're fishing with a camera here today. And what I'm doing here with my jig is I'm actually getting the jig right on the bottom of the lake, trying to create some interest for the I'm fishing for whitefish here today and they'll just pass by and they'll see my lure bouncing off the bottom just shows some interest to them oh here comes one in again now yeah it's just gonna come by to pound it off the bottom a little bit keep it about an inch or two off the bottom just let it sit there now just create some interest with them uh, basically what I'm gonna do with the uh, with the camera now is I'm just going to let him take this thing. He opens up his mouth. You can almost see him just physically just grab the dang lure and you can just smack the hook. Just give him a minute here. Come on, guys. There he is. Oh. Yep, still got him on there. There he is. Look at that whitey. That's what it's all about, guys. Green Bay whitefish. Fishing with an LX9 with the camera. That thing was just perfect. He wants it. There he is. The Green Bay whitey. Ooh, there's one. It's a nice one. 
Beautiful day out here on the bay. There he is. Fish on. What a game changer it is, just being able to see the fish come in and just engulf this jig and wrap. Oh, here he comes up the hole. Ooh, going for a little bit of run there. Okay, that one to the brook reel. You gotta go all the way for him. You see that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bolted him off the reel. Shooting up off the bottom and hit it again. Seems like a nice white fish on the purple jig and wrap. We're out here on the Bay of Green Bay. Catch some white fish. They got one hooked up here. There you go. That was pretty cooperative of them. Tasty Green Bay white fish. It's getting to be a little bit later in the day. It's about 3 o'clock, 3.30. We're going to get ready to go walleye fishing for the evening and we got a little bit more of a flurry going on here we just had a couple more on the go um, these Green Bay whitefish seem to be turned on these things are a lot of fun to catch they uh, they're more of a finesse bite here today but they're uh, finally turned on another good one so we'll get him out of the way and uh, We'll go catch some walleyes. One thing about walleye fishing here on the bay, you want to get out before daylight, before the sun comes up. That's going to be your primary window. Now, that window can get extended by overcast days, snowy days, whatever it might be. It can make that window longer. But typically, in the morning like that, when you get out, it's dark. As soon as that sun comes up, you're in the secondary window. And then you can stick around for about an hour um, and, and that's gonna be about it as far as for the walleye action. Then it's best to go chase yellow perch or white fish or do something like that. Now, one thing you can do to help yourself, transition with the light. What I mean by that is set yourself some holes in shallow water in the morning and then find an edge and then have those holes and work out as the sun is coming up, start working deeper. That can extend your windows and can extend your uh, probability of getting more activity. And in the evening, it's just the opposite. Find some areas that are going to be deeper when you get out. And then as that sun keeps setting, you want to work a little shallower, a little shallower. And uh, that can help you catch more fish. Fish on. Oh, yeah, that's a pump. Good dip. Yeah, How's it feel? Big. Does it feel big? It feels big. Oh, look, there it is. Big. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that fish. Huh? Unbelievable. Oh, it's got to be one of the bigger ones in your book, huh? Uh, it is the biggest in my book. Nice job. It's the biggest, the biggest. Yes. Beautiful fish. Thank you. No problem. That is awesome. Fish on, fish on. Oh, nice head shakes. Feels like a nice fish. Coming up the hole, we just got to the leader. Pretty nice fight on these Green Bay walleyes. Oh, here he is, heads up the hole. What a beautiful fish. I was just snap jigging this uh, purple jigging wrap here and he came up and hit it on the second, on the second pause. What a beautiful fish, Door County. Let's get this big girl back. I've been all over North America basically chasing walleyes through the ice. It's still, I would put in my top five destinations to get one bite and be a fish of a lifetime. So hopefully these tips help you guys, you know, catch more fish. Don't be afraid to call us, message me on Facebook, whatever. When you get messages from me, for those of you that follow me, you know I write a novel. 
I will give you full detail on what's going on. I always want to help the angler because remember one thing, what you put out in life is what you get back. I'm a firm believer in that. Safe fishing this year and uh, tight lines everybody. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by PK Lures and Markham Technologies. Let PK Lures get you geared up this ice fishing season with the legendary PK Flutterfish. Uniquely designed for the ultimate vibration, this jigging spoon accurately mimics a distressed bait fish. And with the glowing eyes and wide variety of colors, the Flutterfish is a must-have for your tackle box. The PK Predator is a pan fish killer. The patented blade design creates a flash that triggers massive reaction bites from huge perch and crappie. Check out the full line of PK Lures at pklure.com or at a retailer near you. Big Bear Down has all the supplies you need for this year's hunting season. Check out our large selection of 10-point and Horton crossbows and accessories. Big Bear Down has added more hunting gear, deer attractant, mineral and accessories to meet your needs. Check out our selection of handguns, shotguns, ammunition, rifles and more. Big Bear Down has the quality name brand products you can depend on again and again. Big Bear Down conveniently located on Highway 13 in Abbotsford. Treat yourself to Ontario's best kept secret, Nestor Falls Fly-In Outposts. Take off to your own private Northern Ontario outpost. Featuring all the amenities of home, new boats, top-notch equipment, and world-class fishing. Nestor Falls Fly-In Outposts is your premier outpost destination. Just a short drive north of International Falls, then we'll fly you north 200 miles. Escape to the wilderness. Contact Nestor Falls Fly-In Outpost today. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Hey, a big thanks to Dale and the rest of the guys from Wacky Walleye Guide Service for an incredible day out on the Bay of Green Bay. If you're interested in fishing with Dale at Wacky Walleye Guide Service or staying at the Sand Bay Beach Resorts, all their information is right here on the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the US, around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Catch anything today? That was a big fish. That was probably one of the biggest whiteys I've had on all year. Put one on the ice earlier, but... Okay, you're killing me here. Mm -hmm.